Okay, so I'm going to try and make sure everybody can hear me here. Sorry I'm a little late, but I'm um, going to see when Enrique jumps on and then add him. It's a nice sunny day here over in uh, Vancouver, Washington. Let's see. All right. So I'm just going to wait for a few people to jump on here. If you're watching this live, please uh, type a 1 in the comments. And if you're watching the replay, uh, please uh, type in two. And we'll get started in a little bit here. Just uh, waiting for Enrique to jump on and we'll go over some questions. Let's see, so Enrique is uh, doing really well in our company, Viseo. And so I just invited him to come on live with me today so that we can talk about it, talk about his success, how he's been doing with uh, social media. He actually, um, yeah, we'll wait till he gets, jumps on here. Still trying to get the hang of this. So let me see. Okay, I'm going to invite him. Just in my car now. I, um, Okay, so I'm going to invite him on now. How's everybody doing? Say hi so I know you're watching. All right. Work? Hey. Hi. How, How are, you are you doing? I'm great. Good. I'm doing well. Yeah, I, um, so... I, yeah, I just pulled in the parking lot here. There was, it was weird. There was a, uh, an accident on the road. So it took a little longer than I thought it no would worries. to get over here. So, yeah. No worries. We're here. <laughs> yeah, we're here now. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How is it over there? Good. It's a beautiful day here. Austin, uh, Austin, Texas. So, uh, it's like 75 and sunny. So it's not so hot. Like the summer months were like anywhere from 90 to 100 and whatever. You know, now yeah. it's cooling down. So this time of year, the weather is just amazing here. Good, yeah. yeah. It's actually sunny today. It was raining. It was pouring down rain earlier today, but that's Washington weather for you. It's just oh, bipolar yeah. pretty much. Just rainy one minute and sunny the next. So <laughs> kind of nice. Cool. All right. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm um, yeah, so glad absolutely. I got John here. <laughs> so. Um, so first, I uh, just, let me see, can, are you able to hear me okay? Let's see, I'm just going to turn the car off here for now. Let's see. Okay, so I just wanted to, yeah, have you introduce yourself. Uh, well, first of all, I'll introduce myself for <laughs> whoever doesn't know me here and then for your network as well. I am Crystal. I, <laughs> I uh, am an optometrist and I own my own uh, practice, eye care practice. I have two locations. So small business owner, I definitely know how um, that busy that is. <laughs> and yeah. I know you were a business owner at one point as well. Um, and I do have a background in another MLM, but at uh, Beachbody, I think that you, you did as well. So yeah, that's um, where I came from. Going, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so going from one uh, MLM to another, um, there's just definitely a lot of things to consider. So I definitely wanted to talk about that as well. Um, sure. Yeah. The, um, so yeah, so go ahead and uh, tell me about your background and how you got into MLM and, um, and in Viseo. So. Absolutely. So uh, for me, I was in uh, corporate America 15 years at the same job, climbed my way up the ladder, did all those, did all those fun jobs to get over there, right? And, uh, you know, I was making great money. I, was, I, was, I thought that that's what I wanted to do, you know, because that's how I grew up. Everybody said, "Hey, this is what you have to do. You have to go to, you have to go to graduate. You have to go to college. You have to do this. You have to, and then you find a job, and then you find, you find a job with great benefits and all these great things, and then you and then you work there forty years and you retire. So that's the mindset that I was in. But after fifteen years, I, I clearly and quickly realized this was not the path for me. I I just hated it. I I just it didn't fit who I was. I wanted. I felt like my purpose was being lost. Like I didn't have anything to offer. Um, I didn't, 
I just didn't fit in well with that. Um, and I knew I was, I was made to do something bigger than that. I just didn't know what or how it was going to happen. But as life went on, you know, my son was born. I was working so many hours. I was away from him. So I started to really look at the big picture and say, am I going to be okay with this, you know, 10 years, 20 years, 30, 40 years down the road at the same job or, or, you know, working for somebody else and not creating the life that I wanted. And the answer was no. So I started looking for other ways to do it. And then, like you mentioned, I jumped into a small business. You know, I bought my own dry cleaning business here in Austin. Um, I owned it for a little over four years, expanded very quickly, you know, um, me and a business partner, we have many locations throughout the city. And then on that side, um, I quickly realized, like, I didn't own that small business. That small business owned me. And right. literally, it was six to seven days a week, uh, you know, 12 to 15 hour days. I mean, like every day. And I couldn't take vacation when I wanted. I couldn't do all the things that I wanted to do. Yeah, the money was great coming in, but my quality of life had really gone down. You know, I was just running on empty all the time and I just was not happy either. So, you know, I, I experienced both sides of that. And then I was like, I don't know. I don't know what's next. I, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Um, and that's when network marketing got introduced to me um, by a friend who was, who was in Beachbody. And um, I was just looking for a way to, to get back on my, on my health and fitness. And then he says, hey, you know, we're doing this over here. You should come check it out. I didn't know anything about network marketing at all. I was clueless. I'd never done it before in my life. Um, I was kind of skeptical about it. But I met some people, and they were making some money. And I was open-minded enough because my pain point was there, right? Um, I, you know, from, from corporate America to small business, I knew the struggle on, on either side. So my pain point was there where I was willing to listen if I could find a different way. So that's when it got introduced to me. And uh, I met some people who were successful in the industry. And I started watching them, what they were doing. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'm going to give this a shot. You know, what's, what's the worst that can happen? That it doesn't work, but I end up learning more about it. I make some great friends, maybe make a little bit of money and, uh, you, know, self, you know, use that for self-development, for personal growth. So I said, I don't have anything to lose. Um, why not give it a shot, you know? And then on the other side is what if it does work, you know? What if it does work and I, and I do the work on my end and I create this business where I'm able to walk away from everything? And that was my goal going in. So I went in very open-minded. I, I gave it a shot and I went to work. And uh, that's how I got involved in network marketing. You know, that's how I kind of led up, the, up to that. And then, uh, you know, within a couple of years, I had already generated a full-time income and I was able to leave everything behind and, and do this business, you know, strictly for my, for my main source of income. Wow. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah, that's how I ended up here. And then I'm six years in the industry right now, six years total, the last four, about the last four years full-time. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely something that you can do, like, earn a full-time income um Absolutely. but definitely yeah that's nice that um i just think that you started out as a part-time and that's what a lot of people do is start part-time and then build into a full-time business and that's yeah i would never want to tell anybody to quit their full-time job no. and go right into no you want to no. everybody starts part-time because it's it's right. something new where they have to learn the skills they have to go through the training and they have to build up to that no one i would never recommend that either you, you know, you start this one to two hours a day on your free time, you know, throughout the day and, and slowly start building your business. And then, you know, eventually you'll get to, it depends how quickly you want to run, but you can get to your right. goals. Um, and then you can talk about leaving, leaving your other job and, and doing this full time. Right. Let's see. So I had a couple of questions written down. <laughs> <I'm just looking laughs> at my, you don't get We're off good. track. Oh man. Okay. See, let's talk a little bit more about. Um, so, let's talk a little bit about the five percent uh, profit sharing that's going on right now. And oh, let's let's first talk about um, <laughs> what was different about you know your previous MLM and why you chose the SEO and um, you know the it's really the, the the leadership and the mentorship that's available with our team that's really made a huge difference um can you talk a little bit more about that because you've been in in, in it a little bit longer than i have so yeah you know 
when, when did you join Viseo? Well, I joined in July, but just slowly starting to get okay. in. Okay, um, yeah, I joined okay. in. I joined in May, not not too much before you. So you know, my story. You know, I was with Beachbody for over five years, and mm -hmm. um, you know, it no longer fit for what I wanted to do anymore in my network marketing career. You know, just the direction of the company, the the, the culture there, it, it completely changed from the time that I joined. Uh, you know, until now, the present. And they made a lot of different changes in their compensation plan, their business model, and the way they were marketing their stuff, and the way they were just running their company. I didn't have the leadership there that was going to take me to the goals that I wanted to reach. And right. um, it was just, you know, it's 11 years old. It was they had 400,000, uh, you know, representatives of their company in the states alone. So I, for me, that that was already an oversaturated market. We missed the growth stage. You know, I didn't really know that much about network marketing when I jumped in. I didn't know what key factors to look for. So I joined right. Beachbody when they were already in their sixth year. So I missed the very, the timing of it from the very beginning to, you know, like year one uh, to about year three, year four is when the mega growth happens in the company. And I, I okay. missed that tidal wave. I came in later on and I, I didn't know the difference back then. Or uh -huh. I would have looked for a company that, uh, you know, was more suited for with, with those key key things that I look for now. So anyway, I wanted to get out of Beachbody. I knew it was no longer a good fit for me for what I wanted to do. And I was looking for another opportunity. And I, and I saw Rick. I met Rick on Facebook. I saw one of his videos. And it really caught my attention. Uh, you know, he wasn't even speaking about the sale. He was just speaking from uh, a higher level of network marketing, you know, from a business standpoint, how business professionals run, run their run their network marketing business. And it was way, way different than the typical network marketer that we see on Facebook. Right. And we know we all see them. They're spamming their pictures of their products and they're they're hyping everybody up and they're saying all all the words, all those key words that. You know, they just, it, which is all hype, right? It, it's just based on hype. And then there's no real, like, there's no real system there to be able to build that business. Um, and so when Rick was speaking like that on the higher level things, it really got my attention. And I, and I wanted, uh, I wanted to have a conversation with him about exactly what he was doing here. You know, I messaged him. I said, I don't know who you are, what you do, what company you're with, but I love everything you're talking about. And I know I could learn a lot from you. I'm interested in just having a conversation to see uh, what you're doing and if it's a good fit for me. He said, yeah, no problem. We got on the phone within a couple hours. I was, I was on a team already. It, it literally happened nice. that quick because wow. I knew, I knew what I was looking for and mm -hmm. you know, not only him, but Viseo had it all lined up, you know, like, the, like we talked about timing and all that. The timing was perfect. The products were there. The leadership was there. Everything lined up perfectly for me to be able, and I, you know, now that I've been in the industry for a little while, I know what I'm looking for, the key, you know, the key elements to uh, a, a successful company that that's going to continue to grow. And this had it, this had all those elements. So it was perfect sense for me to lock arms with Rick and Viseo and five months later, here I am. So <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you're doing great. You just uh, hit gold. So congratulations on that. You, you got that free to the Bahamas. Yeah, and that's Bahamas. where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Can't wait. Yeah. yeah. So cool. So could you give us, um, you know, my network and me any tips on uh, what you do with um, uh, in social media, like um, to, um, you know, get the name out, you know, your name out there and, you know. Yeah. Get people okay. Out. So. You know, I built, you can build this business so many different ways, you know, for me mm -hmm. and like my lifestyle and what I like to do, I, I like, I like to build on social media, right? Because on, on Facebook alone, there's 2 billion users a day on Facebook. That's where everybody's at. If you go out in public, you'll see everybody, what are they doing? They're on their phone, they're scrolling, right? right? Everybody's on Facebook, like all day long, same with Instagram. So I want to be, I want to go in front of where everybody's at, you know, I want to be noticed on social media so that's where I decide to build my business that's the biggest platform out there and I, there's nothing wrong with building face-to-face -face. I do have a local team here in Austin and we get together once a week and we have meetings and we, and we discuss business and all that and that's great to build locally and, and to have a local team for support but you know the majority of my business does come from social media and 
the things that that I do and what Rick teaches also in in our in our Overcome Nation school business school our, our team page um, is attraction marketing. You know, um, building your brand. You know, uh, giving high quality content. Uh, you know, speaking on on higher level things like 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 I said, like I was mentioning before. So. To do that is you you know it's not going to happen overnight. It's a process, but you have to right. uh, you know be consistent on social media, develop a plan, and then you're going to stick to it. You know it can't just be all business like I was talking about before. People just spamming their products and their business opportunity. You have to let people know who you are. You have to be social. You have to get out there and and show people you know what you have to offer. You know and add value. Whether you know for me. You know, uh, my brand, I, you know, I'm a single dad. I love to travel. Uh, I love to work out. I live a, a health, you know, I, I'm on a health kick. I, I love to eat, eat healthy. I like to work out. You know, so fitness is my thing also. So I share a lot about that, about being a dad, about being in the fitness, about being an entrepreneur. Uh, I love to travel. That's, that's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm always sharing what's going on in my life because I'm not just about the products. I'm not just about business. There's a, a lot more to me to that. So the more I can share with people and let them know who I am and what I'm about, you know, it opens up that connection with others. So they, they, they understand, oh, okay, he's just like me, or, you know, we have this in common or that in common. And you start building relationships online through social media, you know, and these people I've, I've never met in my life, but we're just connecting on, on Facebook. And um, we, you know, we get to talking and eventually they're going to want to know what I do, you know, because they see me out there all the time and they say, hey, um, I noticed, you, you know, you, you're always out doing stuff. What do you, you know, what do you do for a living? And that's where I talk about, hey, I'm a full time network marketer, you know, uh, and I and I explain, you know, I answer all their questions. I explain exactly what they need to know. And eventually they're they're interested in what I'm doing because. They, maybe they're stuck in a situation where I was at, you know, not too long ago, a few years back, where I was at a job that really wasn't fulfilling and it really, you know, trapped me where that, that's what I had to do to make money and I wasn't happy and I was stuck and I, and I found a way out. There's many people out there looking for that opportunity that they just need someone to show them what to do and how to do it and they, they want the same thing that, that I've been able to do. So, um, we build that connection and that's where I bring in most of my business partners because we build that trust and they see what I'm doing and they know that, that I'm having success in my business. They know that I've, I've worked very, very hard to get there and then I can, I can mentor them and show them exactly what to do to get there. So that's really all I do on social media. You know, I, I, if, you, if you go to my page, um, you'll see a variety of things. You know, me hanging out with my son, me at the gym, me traveling, me you know, uh, giving value, you know, whether it's motivational stuff or, or yeah. sharing stuff that's happened to me in my life so other people can benefit from it, you know, sharing my story. So I'm constantly, you know, share, just basically sharing my whole entire life on there. You know, not, you don't have to share every single detail of your life, but enough to where people can get to know who you are, what you're about, and then, you know, they, they can get to know you a little bit. And then from then on, yeah. you, you're building relationships with them. So that's how I approach my business. Um, that's how I teach, you know, my, you know, our team to do that. Uh, Rick also is very, very big on attraction marketing, you know, um, building mm -hmm. yourself up in your brand so people know who you are. And then, um, you know, when they're ready to reach out and they're ready to do business, they, they know who you are, they know what you do, and they're ready to, you know, contact you and uh, get started. So, Definitely. I think attraction marketing is the best way to go for sure. Um, yeah. And yeah, definitely um, just, you know, putting your, you know, sharing your story is a huge thing. And, um, you know, not doing too many posts throughout the day, like a couple, like one to three posts, right? I think that's what yeah. you were, they were saying. So um, it doesn't have to be like 10 to 20 posts a day. That no. actually like reduces the, your, your um, reach. So yeah, your visibility. Yeah. Visibility. Yeah. yeah. So, I, you know, I recommend like one, one to two, I, I do one to two posts a day. You can do up to three if you want. It's okay. just harder to come up with three really amazing posts per day, right? They'll take a long time to do. So if you're running a business and you're busy and you've got a, other things going on, you, you really can't spend that amount of time 
you know, creating great, great content like that because that's where all your time will go. So you still need time to work your business and, and do all your other stuff. But, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot different from our previous company where they were telling us to post, you know, five times a day, six times a day. I'm like, who has time for that? Like anybody coming into yeah, a brand I didn't have business time for that. would never, like they don't have time, especially if they're working a full-time job, to post six <laughs> times on Facebook. And um, it, it, do, it doesn't work anyway. It doesn't work. It's considered spamming. So uh, one to two times is what I recommend. Good. Yeah. I think it's important for a lot of people to understand that, you know, with most network marketing that, you know, professional network marketers, we don't, we're not spamming. We're not doing a ton of posts every, every day. And, um, that it's, it doesn't, you don't have to make it, you don't have to think about like, make it so difficult. Just, uh, something that, you know, good content, something positive, stick to the positive. Don't be, you know, talking about the worst things that's happening in your life. There's so much negativity in the world and you want to just, you know, keep everything positive so that, you know, you're, you're adding value to people. So I think you do a great job of that. And, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, um, I, li I love your, uh, social media, um, training that you did on overcome nation. So whoever joins overcome nation, you'll be able to play that, uh, social media yeah. training at any time. Uh, I, I definitely go back and look at that to just, uh, or as a refresher and make sure that I know what I'm doing <laughs> and Very I look good. forward to uh, more trainings from you because, I know that they are like Facebook and Instagram are always changing the al algorithms. So algorithms <laughs> I can't talk today. So I always like to stay up to date on that. And uh, you've been uh, really good about that. So I always, I always try to like see what you're doing. So, so that <laughs> yeah. I know what I'm, cool. I'm supposed to be doing. So it's awesome. Yeah. And um, yeah, let's talk a little bit. Let's end with um, a little bit about the 5% profit sharing that's going on right now. I think it's an amazing um, opportunity that people should take advantage of. And it's something that you and I both did. <laughs> uh, yeah. They, yeah, so. Absolutely. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get into it. So, we both joined the company after they launched, right? I joined in May. You joined in July. In July. Yeah, in so July. we missed out on the founders pack. <laughs> yeah, so we missed out to be founders of this amazing opportunity with Viseo. They launched in January, and they launched 7,500 founders packs, and they all sold very, very quickly. So what ended up happening is a lot of those founders packs never really got activated. People bought them, and they used the products, and they did all that, but they never launched their business. Um, their accounts were inactive on the business side. So what corporate did is it was roughly about 10% of them, it was, so about 750 or so. They relaunched these founders packs last week on a first come first serve basis. So everyone who didn't get a chance to buy the founders pack in the beginning, um, because obviously we, we were, we joined too late. They were already gone. We had the yeah. opportunity to become founding members of the SEO. And I know a lot of my team upgraded also to the founders pack. And, and the reason the founders pack is so important uh, from a financial standpoint is because uh, it gives 2% global profit sharing, right? So if you're just a regular brand partner with Viseo, you get 3% profit sharing in the U.S. alone, right? So 3% is still very, very good. Yeah, it's so awesome. And you, and you reach that at the gold level. So you get 3%, right? But now if you add the Founders Pack on top of that, okay, the Founders, top, the founders Pack on top of that, it adds an additional 2%. So now it's 5% with global profit sharing you know the three the regular three percent doesn't offer that so now we get some of the some of the profits from hong kong malaysia singapore all those other countries that are that are that we're doing business in now we get now we get some of their profit sharing too so this is a huge huge thing in our company um you know down the road i was talking to rick the other day and he he said man you know people who don't understand the big picture you know, this extra, just the extra 2% that's only available to us 7,500 founders, you know, is going to be split between, between all of us at the gold level or higher. And that's literally going to be hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in earnings as a bonus, wow. right? And, and towards the future. So he's like, people don't understand how valuable this pack is. Um, you know, the people that didn't get it that are in Viseo, you know, they're, they're going to be, you know, like they're not going to be too happy in the future when they when they're in regret that they didn't upgrade to this path. But right. uh, it's, it's, a, it's a huge thing to become a founding member of a sale. So 
Um, I, I've been having a lot of founding members join in this past week. Um, you know, they see the value in it. And I would say to, to anybody in your network that's watching this that is on the fence about Maceo or, or was thinking about joining you to get in touch with you, to um, talk to you and just have a discussion about what we're doing here in, in Maceo and if this opportunity is right for them because those founders packs are still available right now. So anybody new coming in can get one of those and, and reap, the, reap the benefits of that 2% global profit sharing. So um, I, would, I would advise anybody in your network to, to reach out to you and have that conversation. If it's for you, great. If it's not, that's okay too. Um, you know, no pressure at all. Right. But um, we're just trying to talk about, you know, what we're doing here. We're just trying to bless you, you know, because we know where this is going. Um, and uh, it's going to be, right. it's, it's already been one, one great ride. I've only been here five months and I already see what's happening. Um, and I know where this is going. You know, we're going to a billion dollars pretty quickly here within the next within a few years. So um, that, that founders pack, you know, when, when I joined, I was upset. You know, I told Rick, I say, man, I really missed out on that. Like, there's no way I can get that pack. And he's like, no, they're sold out. Like, there's nothing we can do. You were just late. You didn't hear about the opportunity, you know, fast enough. You came in too late. So when, when they announced that last week, I was so, so happy. I went that next day and I, and I bought one myself. So, um, that's, that's how important they are. Um, if you're, if you're going to really take this business serious and really want to build, um, you know, it's going to be very, very crucial to your income in the future. Right. Yeah. Right. We have this ground floor opportunity. It's within the first two years of a new uh, company and we get this chance for 5% profit sharing. Why not um, yeah. get in on it? It's a projected billion dollar company. So yeah. getting 5% of that, that's what I want it. For <laughs> sure. Want it? And well, I'll throw something else in there. Like in order to collect our profit sharing, you know, we have 20 ranks in our company. Gold is the fifth rank up. So it's not at the top of it's not at the top of the compensation plan that you have to reach in order to collect our five percent profit sharing. Five five ranks up. I mean, that's towards the bottom of the compensation plan. So if you're consistently working your business and you're following what the leaders teach you and, and you're keeping up with our business school and doing everything it takes to build your business, you'll get to gold. You know, whether it takes you five months, whether it takes you seven months, eight months, three months, whatever it takes you'll eventually get to gold and you'll start reaping those benefits right away. So it's not like some mega bonus where you have to reach top rank in the company to start collecting that. That's available to the to gold, gold and higher. So I just hit gold right. in, my, in four and a half months. I was able to hit gold and I'm already collecting that uh, this paycheck will be my first check at 5%. So that's, awesome. that's a really yeah, big that. upgrade. You know, I just gave myself a huge, huge raise in my business. And, and I know, like right now, people listening, like what would an extra two to three K a month do for you and your family? I know for a lot of people out there, it would completely change their life. You know, 24 to $36,000 extra a year added on to their income or their salary that that would set a lot of families up, you know, to live a higher quality of life and pay some debt off and do some other, do some things that they, they've been wanting to do, you know, so. That that is so that's possible here. That that just happened. Right. So so I, I'm living proof that it's possible, and I did it in four and a half months. So um, anybody who's willing to work and willing to learn and, and willing to just you know get out of their comfort zone, get out of their comfort zone, and implement all these things that we teach, you can you can really build this business out of. Do that. So oh, I just want to share, you know, that, that part of it, that it's not impossible to hit this goal. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. I, um, yeah, I, I a hundred percent agree. This is a, this is a huge opportunity for those who want to start their own business with, you know, low, um, startup costs, basically no overhead at each month. Um, very little inventory, no employees, you know, when you bring somebody else on there are their own CEOs. And that's what I love about MLMs in general, but, um, a lot of things need to line up and that's what, um, I like about this company too, is it's, 
amazing timing right now and yes. right now is the you know the best time to get in for sure with the with the founders pack available so for those of you who are thinking about it reach out to me let's have a discussion so we can see if it'd be right for you if um you know even if it's not i mean maybe you'll just want to uh, take advantage of some great uh products that we yeah. offer and you know we could yeah help you with that too so definitely uh something to talk about so Thank you for sharing those uh, social media tips as well. And um, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate it. So, um, hope you have a good rest of your day, and um, talk to you later. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're done. That's it. Well, I, I I don't know. Do you want, is there anything else you want to add? No, no, I, if you have really any questions. other questions, um, I got time. If not, we'll we'll have uh, we'll set up another live interview on some other topics uh, some we other should. time. Or, and we'll go from yeah, there. we definitely should. I just like to, I like to keep them short and I do have to get back to work. So. Okay. Yeah. You got to get, you got to get to work. <laughs> awesome. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much. Take You're care. Welcome. All right. Have Bye. a great day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye.